everybody, and welcome to Art Ventures. Today on Art Venture, we have Basket. Okay, what's your name? My name is Philo, and I am and I am turning grade two, and my, and I am six oh. years old. Six years and old. I, and I love making baskets, and I love Easter. Okay, very because good. It's about God. So. He already introduced basically everything. We are going to be doing Easter basket that reminds us of who? God. God. What happened on Easter? Do you know? When God, um, when God was on the cross, mm -hmm. he rose up. Right. He rose from the dead. Very good. So we are going. A way to celebrate it is to make baskets and put little chocolate eggs in there or eggs that you colored. So we're going to know, find out how we can make these beautiful baskets just out of construction paper. So what you need for this art activity is, you need two different colors of construction paper. You can use this size or even the smaller one. But the smaller you have the, pa the page, the smaller your basket will be. If you'd like this size basket, then this is the right size to use, okay? So we're going to use two different colored paper, pencil, ruler, scissors, pencil. and stapler, okay? These, uh, the Easter grass, this is optional. You can use it just to decorate your basket. I think it looks very nice with it. So let's, let's get started, shall we? And this will make it comfy. Yes, it will for the eggs, right? Okay, first thing we are going to do is, we are going to get the... Right, but first we have to make lines so we know how where to cut, right? So you're going to take your ruler, you're going to put it down. It's okay, I'm going to do the lines for you. And we're going to do the line right on the ruler so we know where to cut. Here we go, here we go. And we just keep going all the way across the page. All right, so I have my lines already drawn. And then what I want to do is take my scissors and I'm going to cut right on the line. Okay, making sure it's straight because if it's not straight, then it'll look silly on the back. I can go ahead and cut it. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, so you need to cut all the way so it's one strip like this. Okay? All right, Philo, you have yours already cut out, right? Okay, so Philo has cut out all of his stripes and they're all disconnected, okay? So we have the strips already done. Now, you're going to get your second color piece of paper and not yet. First, we have to fold it in half vertically, okay? So it must go up and down, just like this. So I just did it. So it was a straight piece of paper, and then I fold it like this, okay? So now you're going to get the scissors. Again, first, if you want, you can make the line with the ruler so that you know where to cut. Okay, you're going to make line, and then line, and the line, okay? So remember, you're making the line from the fold up, okay? You're not going to cut where it's open. You're not going to cut this way. You're going to cut where it's folded, okay? So that way, when you open it, let me show. So, you're going to cut from the fold, see, this is the opening, so I'm not cutting from here, I'm cutting from down here. And then I'm not cutting all the way, I'm just leaving a little bit of room at the top, so I don't cut it up all the way. That way when I open it, you get these little windows, okay? So on both sides, there are space for you to hold the strips. So this is the fun part, right? So we get our strips and Philo, show them what you have to do. We do like this. We, we do it 
under, right? over. Mm -hmm. It will be a little tricky. It is tricky. But so you went over, mm -hmm. under. Good. Over. So you're weaving it in over, under, over, under. And you keep going all the way to the end. Good job, Philo. You're good at this. Okay. All the way to the end. He's almost there. Yay! Good job, Philo. So, we went un over, under, over, under. Just like that. Right, so before we go on to the second strip, what I want you to do is, you have these loose ends over here. I want you to get the stapler and just make one staple. Just so it doesn't move. Okay, there. That way it's stuck on there, it won't go anywhere. So now, right. So now your second strip, if you started with over, this time you're gonna start with under first. So you're going to go under, over, get it, everybody? under, over, under, over, under, over. Again, you're going to have loose ends at the back here. So you're going to get the stapler. Staple one side. Staple the other. There we go. It's not it, going anyway. Mm -hmm. And then you just it's keep going. It's really fun to make pizza baskets because it's so fun to go under and over. Okay, so we are going to go on a little break, just a short one, until we finish weaving this in because it does take a little bit of time. And when we come back, we'll show you what to do next and how to put your baskets together. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back everybody. So Philo and I have done do all the weaving over, under, over, under, and then under, over, under, over. So now what I want you to do after you have it like this, see, you can see yellow and then pink and yellow. Okay, so we have a little pattern going on. Then what you want to do is you're going to take your scissors and cut out right here. So you're only leaving two squares cut. So you have two squares cut and then cut this size, two squares cut, so that you have a little three flaps, okay? So each flap is four squares, see? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay? So now we have our one side, so we do a little fold, fold, and fold. So we fold our flaps over, then we wanna do is bring the middle one up, and then bring these ones over, okay? And then we staple. Okay, you're gonna do the other side, Philo. And then we bring it up and over, okay? And then we staple. Mm -hmm. So on this side, Philo, you're gonna fold it first, okay? And then fold this flap, good. No, right on the line here. There you go, and then fold it. Okay, now bring it up. So the middle one is up, and then you're gonna bring it over. Yeah. And the other one. Hold on, we gotta staple it first so it doesn't go anywhere. And fold. Good. And the other one. Over, like this. Okay, now we need to staple this side as You'll well. You'll hold it while I staple. Okay. Yeah. Yep, watch my fingers, don't staple me to the basket. Good, and this part can be tricky, so you can definitely get an adult to help you. So, here's our basket. Hmm, what is it missing, Philo? It's missing the straw. The straw, what else? And the handle, very good. So you can get any color handle that, we, that you would like to have on your basket. I be want a yellow one. Okay, so we'll get the yellow piece of paper, and again, we're gonna make a line so we know exactly where to cut, 
Okay, let me bring it over this way. Okay, I'm gonna make a This is the last thing we have. Yeah, this is the last part. So exciting. Almost the last part. Mm -hmm. Because we just need to put the straw in. Maybe you can put the straw while I cut this up. In my basket? Yeah. So you just bring, take your straw if you have some, put it right in, fluff it all up so that it's nice and comfy for your eggs. Fluff it up, fluff it up. And then you have your handle, Philo wants a yellow one, so we're going to put it on either side of the basket and again, staple it. Staple. I wouldn't use glue for this just because it might not be strong enough and staple. Because staplers are stronger than glue. Mm -hmm. The glue will just make it fall down. Yeah, it might not be strong enough to hold it. Yeah. So here we have our Easter basket. Yay, we are ready for our egg hunt. All right. Thank you for joining us today on I'm Art I'm Ventures. Good. Yay. And, and my name is Hilo. And my name is Naveen. Join and us next time. We will show you how to make maracas. See ya!